This is an excerpt from episode 39 of Live Your Dream podcast with Selena Lee. Yeah, the things that um, that will happen naturally without you thinking about it are all pretty much going to be negative. Right. Usually there aren't that many other people worrying about how to make your life positive for you. <laughs> That's in right. fact, there might be nobody worrying right. about it. Right. So if you just kind of let an uncertainty, uncertain situation like this just run its course, I guarantee you almost all the experiences out of it will be negative for you. Wow. Um, think right. about the things you can only do with this amount of uncertainty and enjoy the uncertainty for what it is, which is temporary and special <laughs> and will never return in your life. Mm. Michael, I think what's the... I'm sharing inspirational stories from people who overcame rejections and failures to achieve their dreams. I hope these stories will inspire you to have the courage to pursue your own dreams and live a life doing what you love. You'll also hear about how I transformed my own career from an investment banker and a corporate lawyer to becoming a coach, which I believe is my calling. You'll also learn the strategies I use to coach many professionals out of unfulfilling jobs and into careers they love. Hi, welcome to the Live Your Dream Podcast. My name is Selena Lee, and I'm a career and executive coach. I know that this year, especially, there's a lot of unhappiness, right, and struggles in people's lives. So um, how do you think that we can deal with the unhappiness that's kind of different this year than what we talked about in the past, right? Do you have any coping mechanisms? Let's say, you know, you go through something really terrible and, you know, it's really difficult for you. Like, how do you overcome it or deal with life's difficulties? Yeah, so I've, uh, I guess I've done two things. First, I've tried to um, do more things to, uh, for myself. Mm -hmm. So like either the one hour of doing nothing yeah, or uh, just finding things I enjoy and just taking time to do it. Uh, and I think most people who have a lot of responsibilities, like if you're uh, a parent of young kids or you have other dependents, you know, elderly parents, or your, uh, your income is really important to the economics of the family, etc., you probably feel guilty about doing anything for yourself. That's right. Uh, but I actually think the long-term harm, so if your mind is geared toward thinking you should only do things that advance the cause, the family cause or whatever, you can justify it this way, which is the long-term harmful effects of you not taking care of yourself and not being nice to yourself mm. is going to be a lot more costly than whatever money or time you're going to spend on it today. Wow. So uh, I'm not saying like, you know, leave your spouse and go and <laughs> run off into like go a crazy gambling trip or whatever. Mm. But I think if you have something you really enjoy or you want to try new things you enjoy and you want to just spend like a little bit of time and money in it, I think you ought to just do it because I think if somebody like me who can discipline myself so well ends up having these subconscious like neck pains because <laughs> I'm stressing myself out, right. I think most people are going to suffer from not taking care of themselves yeah. in the long term and only focusing on what they have to do. Mm -hmm. So I think I've tried to do more things for myself that I enjoy. Mm. Like one of the things I've really started is studying Chinese liquor. So that's actually something I oh, really wow. enjoy. <laughs> you're doing to uh i guess uh, in, in in covid time yeah more time yeah. yeah not drink huge amounts of it mm -hmm. but really study, study it and it. like ah. understand the taste of differences etc so i've actually enjoyed that mm -hmm. the the second thing is you know i think i think time limits are really helpful and that's why mm -hmm. i think um it's good to grow old and to feel a sense of loss a feeling like you wish you had more time yeah. in each stage of your life when it's ending because it helps you focus on what you really need to get done while you're in that phase. Mm -hmm. And same thing with COVID. I think understanding like what will you miss about this time when mm -hmm. it's over uh, helps you focus on, well, what are the things I can only do now? Yeah. Uh, whether it's you get to live with your um, kids who were supposed to be in college, you know, and really trying to interact with them positively. Mm -hmm. Pre I mean, I'm pretty sure most people in that situation while telling other people they really enjoy being with their kids are actually privately having a tough time <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> dealing with, with kids and the yeah. kids too. I think kids they thought too, yeah. they were going to now take the steps toward being an independent adult and now they're right back with their parents like That's feeling right. like they're in high school again, yeah. right? So understanding things are going to end mm -hmm. is helpful. I think the same way like, you know, sometimes 
parents and children have adult children have a difficult relationship but then when the parent gets really sick and they're about to die mm-hmm. sometimes they make peace with each other yeah. it's kind of knowing there's an end to things that mm-hmm. helps you focus on the positive what you need to get done mm. so and you know much as like uh if you're on a trip with a friend and you find them re- really irritating but you know it's the last day of the trip yeah <laughs> you try to find something cool to do with with a friend that you liked some aspects of them to start with anyway so i think the same thing with the pandemic the virus is bad terrible things have happened to people yeah. but the really unusual shift in the world and our lives if you assume it's going to end in the next two years you should find what what will you miss about this time and focus on that because you'll never get to do that again wow. if i'm wrong and the thing is going to last the rest of your life well you'll have the rest of your life to figure out what else to do <laughs> I guess that's what you've just shared is how we may deal with the uncertainty of it all, right? That seems to be what people really have a difficulty with, right? The uncertainty of our future, like what's going to happen, right? Right. Mm. But I actually, don't you think that the uncertainty itself Mm -hmm. is special about this time? Like the new uncertainty of how will the um, international borders change, what's going to happen next month in economy, etc. This uncertainty itself is like a precious type of uncertainty that will i mean precious not in the sense of it's good precious in the sense that it's unusual right it's unusual and it will end right so in that sense it's precious Mm -hmm. because it's not commonly available right Mm -hmm. so this is probably might be they say this is a one one in a hundred year pandemic hopefully (laughs) hopefully (laughs) this isn't just like the first of many chapters like this but if it's true this is probably might be the only time in your entire life you experience this amount of uncertainty for the next 12 months or right. another 24 months. So what are the things you can only do with this amount of uncertainty? You know, wow. like avoid people you don't like, for example, <laughs> right? So think right. about the things you can only do with this amount of uncertainty and enjoy the uncertainty for what it is, which is temporary and special <laughs> and will never return in your life. Mm. Michael, I think what's special about you is that you always have a way of seeing it from a different perspective. So it seems like while everybody's like, oh, the uncertainty of it all, I hate it, I can't stand it, but you're like, well, it's special because it's rare. What what can you do to make the most out of it, right? Yeah, the things that, um, that will happen naturally without you thinking about it are all pretty much going to be negative. Right. Uh, because the things that will be positive for you Usually there aren't that many other people worrying about how to make your life positive for you. (laughs) In fact, there might be nobody worrying about it. So if you just kind of let an uncertainty, uncertain situation like this just run its course, I guarantee you almost all the experiences out of it will be negative for you. Wow. Um, Because uh, the way things, the uncertainty will manifest itself Mm -hmm. will be other people pursuing their goals out of it at your expense That's right. or just large movements in the economy or politics that really have nothing to do with it and you're just you're just exposed to it mm-hmm. so if you're gonna um, try to find something about the uncertainty that you can't experience at any other time because at other times of more certainty right <laughs> right and you want to just try and capture what you can out of this uncertainty that's precious i think you need to actually think about it yourself so, so This is an excerpt from episode 39 of Live Your Dream podcast with Selena Lee. To listen to the full episode, please go to selinalee.co for slash episode 39. You can also subscribe and listen from your favorite podcast player.